get some music. Good thing I have the radio on my phone. Pretty sure Benjamin Button. Um, Jim Gasson. I have no idea. <laughs> this is Mr. Marconi. He is credited for the invention of the radio. However, his version isn't as near as complex how we use the radio today. In 1895, Marconi's experiment led to the first transmission of radio waves. The first message transmitted was actually Morse code. And how was the radio used back then, you might ask? The decades following the invention of the radio were called the Golden Ages. From the early 1920s to the 1950s, the radio was dominant. People would tune into their favorite programs each night, and over 80% of households had a radio. In the mid-1960s, FM radio became the home for rock music and was considered an underground style of airing songs that were longer than normal. The 1960s featured an extremely passive radio broadcasting style and an era of unknown bands. Some could call these years the experimental days of rock and roll, which are still seen today. It was all about rock and music, so it was always blasting from my car stereo. Or <laughs> <laughs> that was how the radio was used then. How about nowadays? Radio helps communicate in different ways, I, I believe. Well, the radio affected my life. I listened to it every day in the car. While driving, I do a lot of driving for work, so I listen to it all day. But my um, daughter listens to everything on her iPad, so I keep up with some of the new music. <laughs> As you can see, the radio has come a long way since it was first invented. As time has gone on, the radio has continued to evolve. Many different changes have occurred to improve the radio. Where do you think the radio will be in 50 years? Fifty years, the radio won't be that big anymore. People will be on their phones, and Pandora will still be as big, though. I think it'll be done away with. And there will be no radio. All right, cool. Mostly internet. I don't know. If, I mean, because all cars now are gonna have the internet soon, so it'll just be streamed live through the internet, I guess. I think it'll be a lot different. Uh, I think it'll still be around. It won't be obsolete. Um, you're gonna continue to need radios, so but it'll definitely be advanced as it is now. Today we have talked about the radio and how it has evolved over time. Thank you for watching our video and we hope you enjoyed it. Good luck on exams.